While many poor people are working hard to pay off their debts as soon as possible, the rich are looking for methods to expand their debt load. Poor people struggle to comprehend why anyone would want debt and the interest that comes with it. See how wealthy people use debt in various ways. Why do many of the most successful people prefer to live neck deep in debt with mortgages, auto loans, and a variety of other payments rather than living a debt-free lifestyle with no monthly responsibilities? This will open your eyes. Welcome to Cashflow Canvas, where we teach lessons about investment and money-saving techniques. If you want to make your financial future better, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for the latest updates. Most of us have heard that there are two forms of debt, good debt and bad debt. Bad debt is money borrowed for obligations or goods that cost you money every month and are decreasing in value. A car loan is often regarded as bad debt in terms of value since, more often than not, a consumer borrows money to buy a depreciating item that costs them money every month in order to make the payments they need to go to work to generate money. A common example of this is good debt, which is money utilized to generate more income. Is a mortgage for a rental property or a loan for a business that will bring in more money than the debt costs the monthly payments are covered by the income generated by the asset, and then some a real estate investor doesn't mind paying 5%. 6% or even 10% interest on money borrowed because they know it will allow them to make much more than that. For example, a real estate professional may have a mortgage at 7% or less, but they could potentially earn a 15 or 30% return on their investment or the money they personally put into the deal. Furthermore, obviously, opening a restaurant is incredibly expensive between the money required to rent or acquire a location and the capital required for the equipment. Furniture, food, insurance, and employing employees are a lot for someone to save up for, so they're stuck with the option of waiting decades until they eventually have enough money to start. Start saving money quicker than the rate of inflation, or they can take out a company loan and start much sooner. Yes, they will have to pay interest on the money, but if they are profiting, it is worthwhile. The amount paid in interest for debts can frequently be deducted from the amount owed in taxes. Mortgage interest paid on student loans and business loans can be deducted effectively, lowering your taxable income for the year. For example, if someone has a total income of $100,000 and pays $10,000 in tax-deductible interest, their taxable income is now $99,000. This does not save them $10,000 in taxes. They don't go into debt just to write off the interest on their taxes, but it's one added benefit of using less of your own money in more banks. In a nutshell, if someone has $100,000 to invest in rental property, they can either pay cash for a single $100,000 property or put 20% down on five separate $100,000 properties and finance the rest. Cash for one property is clearly the safer option, but it may take a long time to save up the cash for the next property, even when considering the extra cash flow they receive by owning it free and clear. By using the bank's money, the investor could leverage their cash and begin seeing appreciation across five separate properties. This opportunity to scale also applies to other business owners, not to mention the tax benefits and the fact that their mortgage balance will be lowered each year. The greatest disadvantage of spending other people's money is the increased risk that it entails. Borrowing money implies that you may have problems and have difficulty repaying it. When you leverage money, your investment returns are amplified, whether they are negative or positive, and when things go well, they go very well. When things go wrong, they go very wrong. Rich people understand that using debt puts them at a higher risk of losing money but they're generally very good at balancing risk and reward. They don't recklessly borrow money for businesses and investments that have a high chance of failing. Instead, they're very cautious. One method they reduce their risk is to buy at a discount. Dave Ramsey's methods can work exceptionally well for the typical person who wants to build long-term money and keep it. There is little to no risk of losing anything when following his strategies, but there is a huge drawback and that is that it takes a very long time to build long-term wealth. It takes a long time to achieve substantial financial strides. In fact, following his rules could take a lifetime to accumulate a million-dollar portfolio. 
Dave Ramsey has various principles that everyone should implement, such as living on the money you produce. This is a basic financial guideline that everyone should follow in order to thrive, although many wealthy people do not. Mindlessly following all of his recommendations, rich individuals look at his advice and question, why would I pay off debt at a low interest rate when I can consistently earn much more than the interest? Why would I pay cash for a car when I can finance it at 4% and leave the money invested? Money to make money is a phrase you've probably heard before, and there's a lot of truth to it. It's much easier for rich people to get richer because they have access to capital. Having access to debt provides rich people with the flexibility of having a pile of cash without some of the drawbacks such as seeing your money disappear. They love having lines of credit and the ability to borrow money if they want to because it means they can jump on an opportunity if it presents itself many times borrowing money is preferential because it means they don't need to move cash around and sell assets in order to make a purchase selling assets on short notice when an opportunity occurs might result in a loss or unfavorable tax consequences. People who are deeply in debt adore because the value of their loan decreases over time. High inflation helps borrowers to repay lenders with money worth more. When borrowing money at 3% interest and inflation is 8% or so, the value of debt is eroded on the surface. It appears that the interest paid on a 30-year mortgage or a 6-year car loan is exorbitant over time. But if you adjust for inflation, borrowing money isn't nearly as expensive as it appears with many types of loans. The balance is paid down with each payment you make every month. The balance becomes lower and lower until it's paid in full, even though that's not usually the goal. Rich people see principal paid down as an added benefit of borrowing money. And in most cases, it's seen as icing on the cake at the beginning of most loans, such as a home mortgage. The principal is hardly reduced because the vast majority of the time. The monthly payments are interest, so the payoff gradually accelerates, but this is only a bonus. Most of the time, principal paydown is a plus, but it is nowhere like as beneficial as inflation lowering the size of the debt and the ability to spend it. Leverage through debt is a double-edged sword for those who use it. Those who aren't emotionally prepared to use it are better off staying debt-free and following the Dave Ramsey strategy because it's difficult to go wrong with the principles he teaches, but rich people absolutely love debt for the reasons mentioned. There are many benefits to using debt, and when done strategically, it can allow you to build wealth very quickly. Remember the use this information to help you make better judgments for your position by learning why the most successful people enjoy borrowing money.